Welcome back to the OMB Perfume 2018 video. It's Shim Friendly Shim Placey was popping. Hope you're having a good day. And today we are playing um, Le Legendary. And t pitching for me today is Max Scherzer. You'll see some of his highlights here. Um, there's a B between the um, uh, L and the E in Legendary. But I'm gonna just say Legendary because he probably wants it to be silent. There's a look at my lineup. I got my Chris Davis to a plus six, but this was recorded before then. And I'm selling somebody else. So Byron Buxton's gonna lead it lead it off. I had this Buxton card for a little bit. It was a nice card. I liked it. Good defense. It was really nice. And Buxton will hit it into left field, and that's going to get down. So the leadoff man is on for Legendary, or the Astros, whatever you want to call them. I'm just going to call them Legendary. By the way, guys, this was one of my um, fans, or subscribers. I don't really like to say fans that much. I don't know if you guys really care about me. But, um... One of my subscribers, I know that because I got the little notification. I get notified if you subscribe to me, so I know if you're not subscribed to me. So hit that like, I mean, hit the subscribe button. If, yeah, that was my shameless plug to get you to subscribe to me. But yeah, he basically said, you know, can we do an exhibition for a video? I'm like, sure. Then we got this game going. If you want to play me, let me know in the comments below or join my Discord server, which will be in the description. And it also, I also have a Twitter, which you can DM me on. And if you want me to, um, uh, what was I going to say? If you want me to record the game for a video, let me know also, using the same tactics. But anyways, I'm getting... Off track plugging and such. So it's 2-2 two and two to Davis. Keeping it tight on the infield. And Davis will strike out. That's the same Chris Davis card that I have. But his is a little more higher. Uh, I mean his is a bit lower enhanced wise. And that one is just barely fair. Dickerson has to run a really long way to get there, so the run will score, and Legendary takes an early 1-0 lead. So now here's Nolan Arenado, going back to double play defense. And Arenado takes outside ball 1. And that is ball 1. One ball, one strike. Again, try the fastball, and it's going to be hit in right field. Judge comes over to make the catch. Throw goes to third. Albies go gets back to the bag safely, though. So, now it's two down with runners on first and second for Ryan Braun, and he'll hit one to Lindor, who has a real good arm, so he will throw out the speedy Ryan Braun. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Trailing one to nothing, we're facing big sexy Bartolo Colon. And this one is hit very slowly. Arnado throws. And Blackman is safe. I'm not sure if he got lagged there or whatever happened. But all I know is that Blackman is safe on first. So here's Miguel Cabrera now. 112 contact off of righties. And he's out in front of that one, so he'll foul it to the left out of play. There goes Blackman. Pitch is taken for a strike, and throw to second is late. Stolen base for Blackman. So now the 1 2 to Cabrera. Clone delivers, and it is in there for a called strike 3. Caught me guessing there. That's all I have to say. So now here's the legend Jorge Posada. Now foul one off. 
His batting average is not very legend, like only hitting 182. That's mainly due because of lag I get on my phone a whole lot. This game wasn't very laggy, laggy as Posada will get an infield hit somehow. He's been getting some lag, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But now it's first and third with one out. And Lindor will take inside ball one. And Lindor follows a pitch off. And this one is hit on the ground. We're sending Blackman to the plate. And I know the throw was going there. So we're drawing him back. And now the bases are loaded for the big guy, Chris Davis. Real nice hitting stats. Those are about what his base stats look at, look like as a plus 7. And this one is hit in the center field. That's going to score one run. Here comes the second run. Posada is being waved home. Throw to the plate is late. And we take a 2 nothing. I mean 2-1 lead rather. And now here's Scooter Jeanette. And that may be the night for Cologne. And it is. Here comes Mike Miner. If I'm being 100% honest, his war card, it's good in everything, but if you're going to get him, I would much, I would suggest for you to get the, hmm, I don't know, I think, I know for Rustin, if you're going to buy his card, you should buy the FIPRP. Rustin is another good 2017 relief pitcher. And this one has popped up. Infill fly rule comes into effect. And it's an automatic out. So here's Corey Dickerson. Mike Miner. He has a good pitch mix. But his card is real expensive. I think it's about 496 I'm thinking of selling mine. He has a custom animation. Which I really like. Really like. As Dickerson takes inside. One ball one strike. And that is strike two. Mike Miner deals. And it is fouled off. We'll do it again one two. And Dickerson hits one back to the mound. As Miner will throw out Dickerson for the third out. We go the eighth in inning. But the damage is done. We lead it two to one. Here's the shortstop, Hanley Ramirez, 2009. I believe this is Elliott shortstop, but I believe his is a plus four. So now the 0-2 to Hanley is swung on into Mr. Strike 3. Second strike out on the night for Scherzer. So now here's Yadier Molina. And he'll hit it back to Furch. Davis flips, and he retires Molina. So now here's Mike Miner, and he won't be hitting for himself. Nelson Cruz, the boomsticks, comes in to pinch hit. Better off of righties and lefties, so kind of like reverse splits, if you're looking at batting average-wise. Defense is shifted backwards automatically. And Cruz will hit it in a left field. Dickerson's going to have to hurry. And Dickerson makes an amazing diving catch. I know Dickerson's feeling stats are pretty good. But I did not think he was going to make that catch. He just came running in from all the way back from... Probably around the warning track, to be honest, because the defense has shifted backwards. So now we're here is Russin. And Judge will hit it into right field. That's going to get down, he, and he's going to just be held to a very long single as Stanton gets it back into the infield quickly. And Scherzer's night is done. In comes Jose Abreu to pinch hit. Former first baseman, I 
I would sell him, but his value is not very high. As this is a back to the mound, he'll go to second for one on to Fertz double play. If I knew that was going to happen, I would have just had Scherzer bunt. But the pinch hit cost me as Blackman will hit in his shallow right field, but Albies makes the catch. We go to the top of the ninth inning, I believe. Yep. And now here comes my closer, Brad Hand. And now we're going to put in some better defense. Zobris takes over and left. Hamilton takes over in center. Just some better defense. Even though Dickerson made that amazing diving catch in the left field. Zobris has a better arm. And that puts a swung on miss strike one. I really like Buxton as a player just in the game and in real life. Great defense. And I could see him turning into a real good player. And he'll hit in a right field, and that is a base hit. So, Buxton goes 2 for 2 in this game. Very unlikely that he would get another at-bat this game. And there goes Buxton, pitches, fouled off. I don't know if I have Buxton there. He's just too fast. 102 speed is real hard to catch stealing. But I have the right guy behind the plane, Jorge Posada, as we check on Buxton again. And that pitch is swung on the miss, strike two. Albies has absolutely been a beast extra base hit-wise. And there goes Buxton. Pitch is hit on the ground. We'll have one play. It's at first. And he's going to try and go for third. And he withdraws his runner. So Buxton is safe at second. That brings up Chris Davis. And he'll take a wild swing and miss. Fishing after that slider. And there goes Buxton. Pitches foul off. We're going to try the slider now to Davis. And it is hit on the infield. And we have... J and that's a double play. And Bucks Chris Davis hits in a double play.